Ooh, headshot start day off. All right. Out here at Tayogi Bowman this week, I'm fighting the rain. It's supposed to be coming, major storms. Will I make it in time? All right, everybody. It's supposed to set at Coscob for their traditional way shoot. It's gonna be awesome, but massive rains coming in. Everybody canceled all over. Good old Tayugi Club I belong to. They always have one. If you're dumb enough to have it, I'm dumb enough to come. Headshot on the zombie. All right, we're moving fast today. I'm gonna get wet, but I got my rain gear. So this is gonna be a great test of the Black Hunter. Wet feathers, let's see how that works. One of my favorite shots. Here, and I gotta do it kneeling. Mm -hmm. See? Kneeling, not too hard. All right, on to the next one. Bob's turtle. Good looking shot too. See if I can get it. Oh. <laughs> this is a good one because if I shoot long I'm gonna hit the pig. Shooting high today. Oh well. Just past a group of compound shooters. And I ran uphill at 100 something yards. Time to test the controlled shot cycle. I love. All right, on to the next one. Not an easy shot. Good distance, nice and small. But see what we can do. <laughs> easy. Didn't mean to, meant to even hit there, but I'll take it. And I'm trying to haul ass through the course. Hoping to get before the rain. Ain't working. It's starting already. So maybe I should just calm it down and uh, aim. Nah. Go up and look at that target and I'll show you something. I'll probably take some flag for it, but you know what? It's just an opinion. I don't really care. All right, everybody. You know how people complain about shot up targets? Well, we're the ones shooting them up. And it's these guys using these big, big, thick, wide, super target arrows, doing all the damage. You know, that's much harder for the foam to do pair against. And I understand why you do it and all that, but you know, understand life is a two edged sword. And the reason they're getting shot out is because of us. 
That's why I use super skinnies on this one. Just a thought. Nice shot. I gotta shoot between trees. But if you look down range and look at the target, you're gonna see flowers next to it. Yeah, that's the theme of the shot. I think it's the spring bloom or no, April showers bring May flowers. So they put flowers on a, on a bunch of targets. You know, little touches like that make me smile. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Not bad, pretty good. On to the next one. You know what? On this one, I might stop and smell the roses. Or whatever those are. Tupfer. Hmm, Booner Buck angle's a little steep. I'm a little close. So I don't know how the flight of my arrow's gonna go. I should be able to hit it though. I wasn't expecting to hit it there. Let's do that again. You know, one thing, I don't use binos. And I don't know where the target zone is in a lot of them, so I shoot to where I think it's gonna be. That's where I wanted it. All right. Now the tough one. The great school. Ooh! I hit it. That's pretty small. It's like six, six inches across. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Having fun. Starting to rain, drizzling. I caught up some people. I passed some people. Not holding my shots. I'm just shooting fast as I can. Just having a ball. On to the next one. On this one, my stakes are down there and about 10 yards closer. But I like shooting up here. Change of elevation. Boom! Love this bow. Eric, Ellie, Hitman Archer Supplies, and Tanya. It's Black Hunter, something special. Alright, that was pretty good. You know, in the last one, that was my skull target. I love that target. But I realized, I wonder how many people actually know that's a target you can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so they haven't been shooting it probably. I have to put a sign up or something on it. All right, on to the next one. I don't shoot up close. <laughs> shoot up close. Probably eight yards. At this distance, I'll be lucky to hit it. Which should just be the opposite way, right? It should be just real easy for you to do. See? Shot high. Dude. <laughs> Something I guess I need to work at, huh? Oh well. Buffalo. Pretty close. I would not shoot a buffalo from this close. Maybe with a 12 gauge. Shooting slug. A little off, off and to the left, but I'll take it. New target by uh, Reinhardt, it's the Raven. It's pretty cool. I think you can shoot it. You can't shoot it unless you can do an Edgar Allan Poe quote, which I really can't because it's never into literature. Yeah. I hope that's where the uh, target area is. <laughs> I have no clue. All right, let's go on to the next one. Another new target by Reinhardt. Another good one. The coyote and its mouth is like a chipmunk or a squirrel or something like that. Good shot. Massive penalty if I miss because it's a swamp. Shot high again. Tempting fade, I know. Oh, 
even higher. All right. <laughs> I learned my lesson. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tempting fate, tempting fate. Oh, I know what it is. Duh, stupid man. In the infantry, we used to have a, a saying. We had a lot of them, but one was about being wet. Um, you're going to get wet from either wearing your rain gear, you're going to get wet from the rain. Because you sweat with the rain gear on. I don't care what they say, oh, Gore-Tex breeze. Yeah, right, buddy. I'm wearing a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and this, and I'm already sweating. So by the time this is done, if there's no rain, I'll still be wet. So you get wet if you do, wet if you don't. I got a fishy. I think I see the bullseye, but I'm not too sure. Shot above it. All right, one more because it's group in front of me. Give him a second. I ain't holding, I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I'm shooting high. There's no if and or buts about it. Today, I'm shooting high. <laughs> Pretty purple. A little better one it. All right, shooting all right. I'm just shooting fast, shooting high, not aiming. I am shooting gap stinctive. Right, the arrow's so high, almost everything's point out. It's really weird. Um, instead of having gaps, so like before at 20 yards is like 15 inches. At 20 yards, I'm like like this now, or maybe this. It's really amazing. By putting that arrow right up next to my eye, it changes everything. It really changes your shot cycle form wise which you got to play with you know to avoid the injuries and be consistent but man the benefits for me are incredible all right let's keep on moving the bear here is one of my favorite targets um, just the pose how it looks you know instead of having just the animal on all four standing there on the ground right, let's see what we can do A little high, a little high. Arr, ricky, 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 ricky. That bobcat has achieved nirvana. This target location, not the target, doesn't matter what they always put up here. This location, for whatever reason, I've always struggled at. Yeah, I hit him. Better than most times. <laughs> Alright, number next. Oh, I'm sitting in a, simulating a picnic archer or hunter. Oh, let's see if we can get pinky, huh? off today. That's right. I'm still having fun. I'm making good time. I'm hauling ass. I'm running between targets. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to make it for the rain, so we just might pull this one off. I shouldn't say nothing because it's going to down for me. Yep, I feel it. Boom! That's exactly where I was looking. I just seen that big black hole being shot out, that's what I looked at. See, I can shoot instinctive too, people. On to the next one. Some of you might recognize that bear. First target repair I did. And he's held up great. It's like year two. He's gone through like 12 shot, uh, shoots. He shot a ton of times. Uh, the wear is exactly like I expected, but he gets more wear and tear being transported to and from than he does being shot. A little high again. 
Target 25, starting to drizzle. Five to go. I got a group in front of me, and if they weren't here, I'd probably blow through them really fast. This is not bad. They're not going slow, so they're not really holding, they're not holding me up. Ooh, he's out there. He's big, too. Gorgeous target, ain't it? Good job, Reinhardt. Yeah, I went off to the right, right? That's what it looks like. All right. Keep on trucking, people. We can make this. I can go home dry. Yay! I think I celebrated too soon. Just talk to the group shit in front of me. 34 targets, not 30, and I'm on 26. Dang! But I made it. All right, let's rain a little more. It's a little steadier. <clears throat> You know what? Changed my point. I drew instinctive and I go, you know what? That's not right. And I raised it up and look where I shot. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Shut up and trust your instincts, Gregory. Good shot, long distance. All right, well, they just left, so I mean, the other group just walked away. Pretty consistent, right? Not where I wanted them, but that's okay. All right, good target, a lot of fun. Um, what I like about it, he's really big, so you go, Oh, he's closer. No, he's farther than you think. That's over 30, it's like 32. So it totally throws you off. You know, I see a lot of people when they come up here, they shoot, they always hit low. Why do they hit low? Because they thought it's closer than what it is. You know, that's, that's what I love about 3D archery. You know, target sizes, they're right there. So I can do probably one more. And I'll probably miss. There we go, a little better. But that's the stuff I love. That's why I love 3D archery as opposed to the other forms. There's nothing wrong with them. But the target sizes are always changing. You know, they throw your mind off, makes you work your range estimation game. All right, enough bad one. I'm not going to make it for the rain because it's starting to rain. But I made most of it. You know what? This is the perfect example of taking the next level by doing nothing special. Nothing wrong with just putting that first turkey out there by the wood. Great shot. Something simple. Bowling alley wide open. He's just here. Then they put another one off to the right through some bush. That's it. Instead of putting just one out, put, you know, I love the setup of dioramas. I know I just started setting sentence stop for the new one. Sorry about that. But that's what I love. That's the stuff I love to see. You know? Instead of just putting one out, you can put decoys out. They don't have to shoot them, but make it look awesome. All right, when I said that, I'm going to miss both. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-
<laughs> Tennis ball. Oh, Ricky, 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 Ricky. I'm going to put them all in on that tennis ball. Yeah, I knew that was a bad shot. I didn't throw it down, Gregory. Ah! 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 <laughs> Let's go, boy! Come on! Let's go! <laughs> the rain has arrived. Look, he brought flowers. <laughs> wow! I really was convinced that was going to be a good shot. I'm going to tell you about on, on the moose. He's farther than he looks through the size. Yep. Oh, one more. I'm gonna get wet. Might as well shoot. Snap shoot him. Let's see. Greg, can you snap shoot? No, I can't. Snap shooting clinic 101. Yeah, I can't snap shoot. <laughs> That's the four Nazis coming after me for snap shooting. <laughs> Not bad. You know what? That's sort of where I was looking at. I sort of figured, you know what? I'll, I'll, don't ask me why. My mind just said, put it there. So I put it there. That's where I hit. All right. It's starting to rain. I'm going to melt. I'm melting. I absolutely love this shot. We've got the pond over here. That's actually an outcropping of land. It's all rocks. You know, it's just cool. It just looks cool to me. You know, one, there's nothing behind them. But what they did, what Scott did a great job by him, is actually behind it's all open so if you do miss it's fairly easy to find your arrow speaking of missing oh. <laughs> all right almost there it's getting close it's starting to sprinkle on rain but who cares because this this is what archery to me is all about this is another awesome setup. That's a duck target I made. And believe it or not, that box behind it is actually a, a duck nest or house, whatever you want to call it. And they put them out on the property for him. And Scott seen my ducky, I gave it to him, and he goes, I got the perfect one. And got water in front of me, right there. Got that, got water behind him. Not a hard shot, but it's not an easy shot because he is really, really tiny. Daffy is dead. <laughs> All right, I think there's one more which we're gonna take. This might have to sacrifice an arrow, might not. We'll find out. This, this is cool. Shot across the pond. All right, deer on the other side. Now, was real for my luck, I'd probably shoot it at Stager, fall, fall in the water, and you know there'd be alligators in there, and they kill them. Wait, this is New York. There's no alligators. Oh, well, never mind. All right, let me get a. Might have to leave my arrow out there. 
The only way to get that arrow is to get in the canoe and paddle out there. All right. Nice shot. Let's see what we do. Boom! Ah, it's just fun. Shooting across a body of water, hitting a target. Doesn't matter where you hit it, it's just fun to me. All right. I think we got one more. This is not a real target, but I have to take the shot. All right, everybody, last target. This is so cool. Wait till we get up there and see what you get to do. All right. Um, this guy came up with this idea. Awesome idea, Scott. We can take it to the next level, maybe down the road. All right. Let's see if I can hit it. There we go. Not a mess shot, but I hit it. All right. Let's go down and show you what's so cool about this. All right, everybody, I got a 10, and to reward myself, I bake a Cheetos. <laughs> I love it. That is awesome. Great work, Scott. All right, boys and girls, that was Tayogi. I beat the rain, it's still drizzling. I hurried my shots, I ran through the course, did everything you're not supposed to, but you know what? I had fun, and I'm pretty dry. And no misses today. All right. Thanks for watching. If you're in the area, you gotta come to Tayogi shoot because we're putting on some good stuff here. Yeah, I say we because I'm part of it now. And we're gonna make this one awesome course. We're gonna be challenging everybody for some of the most unique shots out there. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. An all new episode, 3D Archery. And it's just starting to rain. What timing? <laughs>